Good morning, Seven House Church family and everyone watching me this morning for the devotionals. Today we have the topic called Listen Openly. And the text for today is Hebrews chapter 3, verse 7 and 8. Let me read that text and then let's have a brief prayer and let's talk about this. <clears throat> Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion on the day of the testing in the wilderness. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you would open our hearts to understand that we need to listen to you openly. That the words of our heart, the meditation of our hearts, the words of our mouth, let it be pleasing to you every day and today. In Jesus' name, amen. One great thing that we notice about today's text is this. The context of the writer of Hebrews is God speaking to Moses, through Moses, to the people of Israel. But here, while explaining that Moses, Jesus Christ, is greater than Moses, he quotes Psalm 95 and uh, he co quotes those verses where it says therefore as the holy spirit says today if you hear his voice the argument that the writer of hebrews is making is this god spoke in the context of moses and the people of israel and he continued to speak during the time of the psalmist the psalmist uses this word and he says God the Holy Spirit is speaking at this moment that we should not be or uh, the people of Israel should not harden their hearts like in the days of Moses and then he says if this these words were uh, uh, suitable for the people during David's time the, during the psalmist's time he says they are now speaking to us in the time where Hebrews, the writer of Hebrews is writing this particular text saying God wants us to listen openly. So by extension, the original context of God speaking to them that they shouldn't rebel was when the people of Israel came out of Egypt and then during the psalmist, the psalmist time the psalmist says God expects us to listen to him openly and then the writer of Hebrews says during his time God expected everyone to listen openly by extension that means today God wants us to listen to him the message that God wanted his people to listen to in the time of Hebrews is that Jesus Christ is greater than anything and anyone. If Jesus is open, is greater than anyone and anything, and that means we are to obey him, obey him openly. There are several times we think about our plans and bring our plans to the table and say, Lord, bless this plan. But God wants us to listen to him openly, meaning he's the Lord of our life. If Jesus is Lord of everything, and he's the Lord of our lives. And that means we need to listen to what God wants to tell us and listen to what Jesus wants to tell us, not rebel against him. Listen to him because God speaks to us. Shall we ask God to help us? Father, we pray our Lord today that your blessing may come upon us. Help us to listen to you openly no matter what is happening in our lives. Let's not rebel against your plan and your purpose in our lives. Let us do only those things that you want us to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.